Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sniper Elite 5 in depth where today we will be taking a look at the M1903 Springfield but before we get into that I'd like to plug my discord server it's a great Sniper Elite community so it'd be pretty swell if you join so without further ado let's get into this The M1903 Springfield entered service in 1903. In the 1898 Spanish-American War, a small Spanish force armed with Mauser rifles held up for a substantial amount of time against an American force armed with Craig Jorgensons who outnumbered the Spanish 20 to 1. The Spaniards inflicted 1400 US casualties within minutes using their superior Mausers. The blame for this humiliating defeat was dumped on the underpowered Craig Jorgensen, which was soon replaced with the Springfield. The Springfield was based upon various Mauser designs, ranging from the model of 1893 to the Gewehr 98, and it served admirably throughout both world wars. In game, the Springfield is a very strong rifle. It has the highest effective range and muzzle velocity of any rifle in the game, its aim stability and spread accuracy are also the best in the rifle's class. The 1903's damage is also very good and the rifle boasts acceptable recoil control. The gun is rather light and nifty but the weapon's rate of fire is poor, although still better than the Car 98K. The Springfield also has the slowest reload of any weapon in the game, poor capacity and it can also be heard on other continents when it's firing. The Springfield, with its extensive choice of uber long distance optics, is the clear choice for long range marksmanship. The weapon is also much more usable all round than its arch enemy, the 98K. However, it does not have the capacity or fire rate of the much easier to use SREM and lacks the obliterative damage of the carabiner. Overall, the Springfield will see use by the true snipers of this game, the ones who take it seriously, the ones who don't run around with a submachine gun like some sort of inbred twerp. It's the true sniper's choice, this rifle. Now I want to go over a couple of custom setups I've made for the Springfield, the first of which is a true sniper's build designed solely for ultra long range combat. I used the A2 optical scope because of the 16x magnification, because when you're shooting at someone, you will be needing 16 times the detail. Although you may want to use the M84, as the A2 has a minimum zoom of 12 times, so the M84 is a more versatile option if you want it. I use the Star Gauge Barrel, because it increases muzzle velocity and damage, and the Mark II Boys Brake to increase muzzle velocity even further, as well as decreasing my vertical recoil somewhat. I use the rubber butt plate on the stock and the match bolt to bump my muzzle velocity up even more. This is a properly good build for long range engagements that you just don't get in this game. In this clip I was firing at 400 odd meters and was comfortably doing that without having to zero my scope, just due to the magnificent muzzle velocity this build creates. If I was going to take it regularly, I think I would replace my scope with the brilliant M84, but other than that, it's a brilliant sniper build. Unfortunately, this thing can be heard on the moon, but that doesn't matter when you're shooting at targets on Mars. The other setup I made is designed to be a faster, and better in regular mid-range combat without hurting the 1903's long range ability too much. I used the excellent M84 scope and short carbine barrel in order to increase stability and handling times. The more one suppressor somewhat reduces noise without hurting muzzle velocity, which I already slashed with the carbine barrel. Bullet loops are placed on the stock to facilitate faster reloading and the short travel trigger increases fire rate to be on par with the pump action SREM. Overall, this setup is crap because it requires industrial tons of late game attachments to do what the SREM does from the beginning. Of course, I'm only joking. This setup finds a good balance between the long range ability of the unmodified Springfield and the Car 98K, whilst remaining viable at mid range, like the SREM or the semi-automatic rifles. I'll put a handy 
well-designed chart on screen to show you what I mean. The suppressor is used more so as a nice benefit rather than an actual stealth attachment and overall this setup is a reliable choice for all sorts of operations. Thank you everyone for watching the video. Remember to like, subscribe and comment. It costs you nothing and it's a great way to help out the channel. Stay safe and goodbye.